the video you're about to watch um, should tell you and teach you something about investment, money management, and finance. Um, this is a video about Pastor Ashimolo, your latest uh, multi billion naira or dollars investment in properties. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name remains Real Talk with Antia Duni. I want to welcome all my new subscribers if you are just new on this channel. And if you are not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe before I go on. And please, as you watch this video, even right now as I'm talking, kindly help me to click on the like button. Most of you watch and you forget. But I see your comment, I see your positive comment, which shows that you like what I'm doing. So to show more solidarity, please kindly press a like on the video right now as you're about to watch it. So people have been sending this video to me and uh, even under the place where I saw a video, uh, people have been saying, Auntie, won't you say something about this? Please enlighten people on this. What do you think on this? What is your thought? What is your you know opinion? And of course, I saw the video and I, was, I wasn't surprised. Maybe before in those days, I would have been surprised or I would have supported and say, oh, God is doing something good. Oh, our pastor is moving up. Oh, pastor has done it. I tap into this blessing. Oh, my own is coming. The Lord, I didn't know I would have done something like that in those days. What am I talking about? Pastor Ashim Olowo here is no stranger to any one of us. He's a um, pastor and president of KICC. And uh, of course, we know he's one of the charismatic charismatic preachers that is available among the Nigerian pastors. And to say he's a, he's a rich man is an understatement. And people were asking if recently he launched his um, estate that is put up for sale per plot, okay? And it's called Macarius. That estate, that's what you are seeing by the side of video sliding by. I couldn't use the video because of copyright. That's why I just coupled the pictures for you to see. It's a very vast land in Lekki. Lekki is a very expensive place. It's not for uh, the weak mind. Very expensive place to live. Property-wise, whatever-wise, is expensive. So it just launched an estate that is being put up for sale. I will tell you how much a plot is going for as i go on so just do like this and uh, under where the post was i saw some comments and of course a lot of people were happy and happy for him and a lot of people were asking questions and a lot of people could not even ask questions there probably before fear of being attacked by his followers so some of the silent question and some of the question i saw there was like where did he get the money from and i'm like are you for it why are you asking this kind of question okay i am going to help you to answer those questions okay just for a ballet so you are asking a pastor in a, a pastor of a nigerian pastor who was once living abroad how is how he got the money or where he got many money from this estate from uh -uh. you are not being fair why would you be asking that question anyway i will help you to answer those questions like i said before i go on let us talk about the estate the estate is very big very very big um the design as you can see in the video sliding by is like uh the pictures i mean the, the design is like it's looking like dubai they have a dancing fountain there it's going to have a vast parking lot. It's going to have playground. It's going to have um, amusement park. It's going to have all sorts. Whatever you think is needed to live like a rich man or rich man's child is available in that estate. Now, how much does the estate cost? Like I said, let's talk on the prices of the house first, okay? It comes with summer land. So it all depends on what you want. Maybe you want to buy landed property maybe you want to buy per plot so according to findings each plot of land um, is about 33 million naira some they have it as 53 million naira then they now have houses built on luxury houses it is called luxury okay luxury estates it is not for the weak mind it is not for all of us okay maybe my children will buy but me i know i cannot buy it is not for people like us who are doing nine to five 
or doing shifts, okay? You are still doing 16 hours per day, per day. Maybe you have to struggle, struggle before you can save $10,000 in a year or in six months. It is not meant for you. So each land is about 33 million or 53 million. Or it all depends on which one you want, okay? And then um, they have houses. Each of the houses come in different types. They have studio. The studio is about... Uh, studio apartment you know what a studio is that is a uh, one room those ones that you call a uh, mini flats one room and parlor with kitchen toilet and bedroom is coming at 40 million okay two bedroom flat 75 million um three bedroom flat 100 million five bedroom pet uh, with penthouse um, that one is coming at 200 million. Then four bedroom with terrace is coming at 200 million. Then if you want six bedroom um, detached house, it's coming at 350 million. Okay, let's not talk about the initial payment. So those are the prices of the house. And like I said, it's a luxury apartment. It is meant for the extremely rich. It's not for tight payer. We're struggling to pay tight. Maybe you have to pay like 20000 every month as your tight. It's not meant for you. It's meant for the very, very rich. And that buttress, what I've always been saying, that they don't have they don't have plans. They don't care about the poor. And some people have been asking questions that where did this pastor get money from? Me, I'm not alleging him of anything, okay? I'm only trying to shed more light on those silent questions people are trying to ask. And this is one of the questions I'll be putting by the side. Uh, there's no need wasting time and reading questions. But let me just tell you, people that are asking, where did he get money from? I don't know where he got money from, but I can tell you something about some pastors, okay? When you are mentioning pastors, some of you forget one thing that you are talking about human beings before i will show you some videos or let's watch these videos about pastor ashimo lobo before i go on <laughs> hallelujah it won't be long it won't be long sit down sit down for five minutes I take permission to take five minutes of your time, then I hand over the microphone. I like to challenge you. I like to challenge you. I like to challenge you today. Every time you receive a prophetic word like this, because I didn't preach, I just felt of the Lord that I should prophesy into your life. And that's what I have done tonight. Every time you receive a prophetic word, you must learn to react. I like you to say react. Or oh, please say react. Saul was told by his servant, let's go to the man of God. But let's go, not go empty handed. They came with a seed and they found a throne, a crown and a destiny. Tonight the prophetic word the Lord gave me is for someone. And you got to learn how to react. I want to challenge you to sow seed tonight. I could give testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies. But I don't want to do so tonight. Because of time. I want to ask you to sow a seed that covers all the 52 weeks of this year. And although we are already in the second week, you still must do for the 52 weeks. Because there are still some areas that belong to you. And they are coming to your house. I'd like you to say amen. It's a very small seed. It's a small seed. And I want you to respond to it. For every week of this year. Psalm 68 verse 9 and verse 11. God will load you with benefits. Oh, they are going to mention you in the right places. I said they will mention you in the right places. If you believe it, say yes. Yeah. Some of you are going to begin to receive emails and texts, letters that shows that you have been mentioned. I want you to sow a seed, a prophetic seed. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15 and 16. Verse 15 said, They rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem in 52 days. 
after it had broken down in spite of opposition they rebuilt it in 52 days verse 16 says they so prospered that the enemy said no man can do this except it is god how many are ready for such breakthrough no man can do this except god i want you to say a seed of fifty-two thousand naira. that's what i want you to sow those who are sowing that seed i want you to come out quickly and stand in front of the speaker because i want to pray for you don't wait for anyone don't wait listen do not choose the seed that is convenient choose the one that stretches I want the people who are going to sow between a thousand dollars and five thousand dollars. I'm going to call you on one tranche, and you will go. You will come out to sow the seed. We're doing it differently this year. I'm going to ask you to stand at those bays. You are here tonight. You need to see your business enter a new connection. Your life, your marriage, your destiny, your favors. I want you to get up. All those sowing between a thousand and five thousand dollars get up stand up all those who are sowing this don't wait for anyone just begin to get up begin to get up i don't want to watch ushers yet so that i can know who is really sowing ushers sit down i want to be able to see those who are sowing the seed ushers please sit down for the moment i want to see the real uh the, the people who are the seed sowers wherever you are get up get up get up get up get up all those who are sowing between a thousand and five thousand and i want you to listen even if you're on the balconies never allow distance to stop you i was preaching in a church in lagos all my friends here preached there joseph agoli victory uh, victorious army i know bishop tudor has been there dr mike has been there i'm not sure about dr Otterville. oh you've been there too joseph and blessing agoli I was raising a thousand dollar seed a young man was outside and he was angry he, which can't charge be this man never chop this man there is one thousand dollars okay ne? and the holy ghost told him get in there he ran in he said he had a literal voice and they gave him a paper he wrote a thousand dollars two weeks later he came to redeem his seed one year later he came for a thanksgiving service because he was now a property developer let me just stop by these two videos i am going somewhere be patient for those of you asking where did this man get money from first let's take it one by one remember he's a pastor number two what most of you don't know i will tell you today when pastors start getting money they employ investors yes you heard me investors that will manage their fund so they are smarter than you remember when they collect offering this week the money they collect this week is going to the bank they will collect another one second week is going to the bank third week they take it to the bank fourth week they take it to the bank and when there is a need for projects they don't touch that money now tell me are they spending out of spending anything out of the money you out of the little you have you give the little you have you give while you are giving they are investing so your pastors are investors they are businessmen come investors now let's take it to pastor shimolowo the videos you watched the first one he did a program for funke and of course he's going to collect his own when he's going the second video he was the one doing the program you saw the crowd now that crowd let's assume out of the massive crowd you saw in that video let's assume that crowd shouldn't be anything anything less than five thousand and i'm sure there will be more let's assume there are five thousand out of the five thousand let's assume only 200 people so a seed of a thousand dollars okay let's calculate take your calculator with me please so only 200 people so a seed of 200 of a thousand dollar two thousand i said let's assume only how many people 200 people which is going to definitely going to be more than that. let's say 1000 it can't be 200 let's say 1000 people are giving him a thousand dollar okay times 1000 
dollar. That is one million dollars. Remember, some are going to give more. He said between five thousand dollars and one thousand dollars. So now tell me that somebody that collected one million dollars this month, after collecting the one million dollars, he calls his investors and said, Come, oh, Pepe have rest. What should we do with this money? And the investors will say, Okay, let's place it in this account, this fixed deposit. Let's put it in this kind of business. It will yield more money. And after that one million that he has fixed somewhere is getting a return of, let's say, uh, $1,000 every month. For 12 months, that one million will become one million. $12,000. In 10 years, it will have gone to 1 million, 1.1, no, that yeah, 1.1 million, $120,000 will have added to it by 10 years. Your pastors are investors. So for some of you that are asking, where did he get money from? He's been a pastor for decades. Not only a pastor for decades, he has a university in Nigeria. Many of you may not remember or do not know. He is getting money from there. Remember I did a video where he invested three, a five million pounds on um, MMM, MMM Ponzi. And he lost 1.5. He was able to, I think they said they got 3.5 million back. But 1.5 million went into waste. But he got, so to show how rich he, he is, he's very rich. He is very rich. And when I went into um google to check up on what he does is known as nothing but a pastor so pastor job is very lucrative stop asking questions that are so obvious if you decide to use your money it's your money if you decide to sell yourself or sell your mama and your papa to take pay offering and tithes it is your business you can even carry your picking as your firstborn to do sacrifice for kingdom investment that is your problem so I'm not saying don't do, but for those that are asking questions, I'm trying to enlighten you where he has made. He's not a thief. So don't call him a thief. He's not a scammer. He didn't scam you. He asked and you put it down willingly. Some of us, I've, I've been under his ministry too. We put down willingly in those days. They didn't tie our neck or force our hand to put down. Mm, we are the one that our head is was not correct then. Me and re, my, head, my head is correct now. <laughs> so if you decide at this stage that uh, you want to sow into their life, you are sowing to God. Are, you're sowing. This is the end result of your sowing. This is the heaven they have created with your sowing. All of you asking what it does for a living. Uh, he's a pastor. And uh, according to Google, he doesn't have any job before becoming a pastor. He actually started with first choir and he was transferred to UK and he got to UK and he started his own church. And of course, of course, the man speaks very well. Ah, didn't you hear when he was screaming on people? That is one method. When you hear pastors saying, eh, wait, wait. it is time for you to run. Run, no. That screaming is a, 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 a how do I put it? psychological something to you know get you on edge kind of and then for those asking where he got his money from that is the answer he was a pastor but all i know is that most of nigerian pastors are good investment investors some people will say he was writing book he writes he used to write books how much are books how much are books people will collect salary i mean collect rent and um, tithes collect offering, collect seed offering, collect special seed offering, even collect this kind of offering, jam everything together, bank it. The second month they collect, bank it. The third month they collect, bank it. And you say they will not be rich. Uh -uh. Being a pastor is the rich, is the easiest way to be a, a, a rich person. That is if you don't have conscience or you, you can do it. And uh, all these, um, you can see the estates behind me that you are looking at. The beautiful estate, the Macarius, the building, you can see them. Look very well. Shishi, if Ashimolo will go, he no go touch your hand. Oh, whatever he has is going for his four children. This is one of them. This is the one that is already 
in charge of his church in uh, UK. He's the one in charge. He, when he left UK, when he has problem with the UK government, I learned he can go in and out now, but he cannot be a pastor there. So the son is taking care of the place to show you is a family in business, is a family inheritance. There is no con nothing like kingdom inheritance. Even this one, this estate you are seeing behind me, is already for his children. He's 70 years old. So he's making, preparing things already for him. So his children and grandchildren will never suffer. You are the one, the man has not stolen. He didn't scam you. He said, bring it tight. Bring it your offering. So seed. You had, I had another video. I have about four videos of him asking people for money. And we have many, many. It's been done. It's been on like that for long. I have been on those programs that he came for to do in the, in the 90s. Stroke early to 2000. When they were asking us this money. Now see how stupend, stupendously. I'm a Yoruba woman before you can abuse me. Because I know Sabi speak English. At least if you speak past your mama. Some of you. Stupendously rich. To the extent, one house that he wants to sell is going for 500 million. 400 million. Your papa and your grandpapa, if they sell them, they can never collect it. All of you are busy me. If then your papa, grandpapa, if they sell all your village together, that they cannot equal that kind of money. And you are part of the people giving the money. No be juju be that. Your own don't caput. Wait till I talk. And you want your children to continue continue this pattern to use their life to sow for pastor speaking because their children are beginning to take over. Ordinary boxer, if Ashimolo would die, you cannot inherit. Now in Peking gets them inheritance. So as this one don't happen now, all these estates where you know they see, make you know how you move. You can't even afford to buy it. Abi, can you afford to buy a land of uh, $33 million? I mean Naira. Or can you afford to buy studio? How much is the studio again? 40 million for room and palo. With kitchen, they say, and luxury. You can't you can now even see that when you are saying separating the boys, the men from the boys, they separate the boys from the men. I mean, the men, real men from boys, they separate the rich. Even not with medium or average. The rich is either you are rich and be part of them, or if you are average, stay in one corner. And one corner be your own league because there is a thin line between being average and being poor if you are not careful these ones they are stupendously rich you cannot compare somebody that can put 400 million down to some of us maybe say to count 10 million we go do like this it's not the same talk less of you maybe say even your account too. one million self you know get up to 200,000 <laughs> before you go buy gary you go count how many you get in your accounts. Before you can count uh, $5,000. Five, yeah, $5,000. Maybe it's stock of dollar. You go don't work 16 hours. 30, 30 days a month. Because you can't carry that kind of money. Give people like this in the name of saying for kingdom investments. Where can they go? As soon as I make it, I know call her. She won't for. He knows still anything. He was just a very good businessman. We get sense you. It was just smarter than us. He just knew how to invest than us. Uh, instead of, you know, the more they collect, the richer they become. The more you give, the more you continue to roll in one, in one, on one spot. You continue to roll. Today you are there, tomorrow you see, you think you are there. Tomorrow you are not even there. Next tomorrow, you start again. You go begin roll. You don't spend one fish before another one come. When they compare, ah. <laughs> Sorry be your case. Until I come your way again, I remain your sweet talk with Auntie Adumi. Emma bu yanyi o. Yanyi ni kebu, Emma bu mi o. Yanyi ni kebu, Emma bu mi. Bye.